my god. Who are you? These MC bangers? They have weapons. He's green, he's green, he's green, he's green. Hello? Bodyguard? Seru? Okay. Who is Saru? I suppose I best put the gun away, hadn't I? Hello, sir. The guy you want to deal with is over there. The guy you don't want to deal with is standing in front of you. Roger. What is... Um, am I interrupting something? Who are you? Are you just his... Okay, let's stop looking. Because that is rude. Who is this guy? Right, Saru? Sir, who are you? You want to buy or sell something? It's all on the computer. What do you want? Ah, I see. Silencer. Give me that. Stun gun? She, what is a stun gun? Info. Use. Knock individual targets on conscious at close range. Result in instantaneous... Uh, result is instantaneous. Also useful on robots and electronic devices to confuse them temporarily. Description. The Buzzkill Threat Negation Device is a single-shot, non-lethal firearm that uses an intense electroshock discharge to render targets unconscious. While easy to conceal, the weapon has a short range, slow firing cycle, and lengthy reload time. It is primarily for use against organic targets, but it's also effective against disabling security cameras, turrets, and robots. Upgrades. Cannot, uh, cannot be upgraded. I want it. Not enough room. Oh, you're joking. Right. I need room. I need room. Okay, that's it. How can I not have enough room? Oh, my God. Okay, that crossbow and then things can go eventually, but where's the silencer? Silencer, is this it? Ah, oh, damage upgrade. I still don't know what I want to put the damage upgrade on. But the silencer can go with my pistol. Oh yeah. That pistol is now. No, no, I not like the weapon in my face like this. Put it away. Yes, yes, okay, totally understandable. This is what I got. Bye. Stun gun. Yes. Yes. See ya. Okay. I don't want the crossbow. Okay, so that can go there. And that can go there. Okay, thank you very much, Saru. You are my new favorite dealer. Let's test this on. How does it use... What ammo does it use? This is what I got. Okay, did I just waste my only ammo? Okay. 
Stun Gun Darts by Not enough room. Well, let's sell some garbage then. Right, let's sell the whiskey and the beer. And let's buy stun gun ammo. All of it. Okay, that's it. Okay. That's not a long reload. Okay, we can live with that. Shotgun. To be honest with you, I don't think I'm honestly don't believe I'm gonna to want to use the shotgun. What I might do though is a damage upgrade on this. Okay, there's the window. I've got the damage up. I don't know whether to do the damage upgrade on this or the uh, assault rifle. <clears throat> Probably this. Right. Um, back to Jenny then, I guess. I can remember how to get to her. Why is there no like just walk along the paths and the streets like normal people? Right, here she is, just around the corner here. If she doesn't want the murder weapon, then I'll uh Come sell on, it. Jensen, make this quick. We shouldn't be seen together before you're done with everything. Okay, right. Okay. Quest details. Tasks. Any, yeah, shipment. Any specifics on the weapon shipment in Derelict Row? Any specifics on the weapon shipment in Derelict Row? You just gotta make your way in. The entrance is right there in the alley across the street. I don't know exactly where the weapon stash is, though. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's all for now. Oh, God, let's go find these weapons. Where the hell could they be? Weapon shipment. This is all I can think is. This. My inventory is full. <laughs> what can I get rid of? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do I need to take... I don't need to take the weapons, surely. Do I need... Okay, let me just... Drop that there. Do I need to take the weapons out of the shipment first? Before it, re before it recognises that it's here? Okay, so there's nothing else here.
No, that didn't work. Right, so that can go away then. Machine pistol ammo. Take that because I'm going to sell it. Where is their weapon stash then? I've been everywhere, I've been everywhere. Okay, I found the weapons cache. I literally just had to move this. That I found it, it's right here. Been here before, I just literally needed to move that bin out of the way and it was under the building. I mean, this isn't even as good as their other weapons cache. Ammo capacity upgrade. Frag grenade, frag grenade, pistol. Weapon shipment. What did I find there? Oh my god, I'm completely full. Right. Got ammo capacity and damage upgrade. I think combine okay we're going to combine all these with the handgun to make the best 10mm pistol in history of 10mm pistols I severely need to sort all this out we're going to sell the crossbow though I think okay that Really didn't make much sense. Why that was cl classed as a weapon, weapons cache when their locker room, full of weapons, wasn't. Right, let's go see Jenny. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this 10mm pistol up so much is because ammo for it is so easy to come by. Right, uh, have I got praxies? No, no praxies. Let's put the gun away on the streets. It's not a good look. Come on, baby. Did you get everything? We have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. Uh, yes, I got everything. I got everything. I think I have everything. Excellent, Jensen. I knew I could trust you. My guys got their hands on Double T, and you identified the shipment. Apparently you weren't so subtle with the last part, but hey, at least the job is done. What else you got? Yeah, I wasn't quite undetected, should we say. I have the crossbow. Uh, I paid a little B&E visit to... Yeah, I paid a little visit. I paid a little visit to his apartment. I paid a little B&E visit to O'Malley's apartment. There was a second shipment of weapons, government issue. I don't know how he got his hands on that type of hardware, but the man's got reach. Great work. Found something else? I found a stash of illegal drugs. Not much, but enough to get him convicted. Good. The more dirt we dig up on that asshole, the better our chances to put him away for good. Got anything else? I managed to hack into his personal account. I think you might want to check any connection O'Malley has with FEMA. There's definitely something going on there. My god, Jensen. With all you've uncovered, you've probably provided us with months of legal investigation. What's next? You're gonna tell me you've found proof he's got free satellite TV? No, that about covers it. Uh, I do have the crossbow. Yeah, I'll give it to her, I'll give it to her. Here's the weapon used in the dealer's murder. Hope you can make good use of it. You bet, big boy. I've got a feeling O'Malley's guy will become a lot more receptive to interrogation once he knows I can pin this murder on him. I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the derelict row ballers and the Motor City Bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? All right, I'll keep that in mind when I review all the evidence. Well, that's it. 
you did a great job. Here's the stuff I promised you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, and I want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on yourself? Um... Do I want to arrest him? No, it's nothing to do with me. I think it's best if you make the arrest. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely best if you make the arrest. I think it's best if you make the arrest yourself. Wouldn't want to steal your thunder. That's all right, Jensen. You've done more than enough. It's been a pleasure working with you again. Just like old times, eh? Good luck with... Well, whatever it is your cute ass is working on these days. Big, big things is what my ass is working on these days. Hello? How about a little sugar, baby? I'll give you a Motown special. Come sure. on, handsome. I'll take your mind off your troubles. Charlotte, why do I know your name? How about a little sugar, baby? I'll give you a Motown special. I'm intrigued. What is a Motown special? Okay. Maybe we shouldn't find out, but... Hey, big boy. I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable in this neighborhood now. Right. <clears throat> we have available Praxis 1. I have a lot of credits. I could buy some more. We have... What are these? Did I not use these? Where did I get these from? Okay. I guess... Combine... Okay. Combine... I already have... Okay. Okay, yep, that runs up to 16 now. That runs up to 30. Okay, let's not point the gun at the women. Right. Lim. We're going to Lim. We are going to Lim to purchase some praxis. I don't think there's anything up this part of town that I want to do. So let's go back and see David. After we've been to Lim and sorted our augmentations out. The question is, do I look at my computer and find out what the private investigator found out about me or do I not? Maybe I should just trust David. Sorry, I'm gonna try. I think I might. I might just trust him. He's been good to me, so. Okay, where's Lim? Was it, was it round here? Here it is, round here. There's the. Uh, Massive protest. That's, oh, that's the tunnel they shut off because of the two-person protest. Welcome to Lim International. Providing information, diagnosis... Would you say the police were overly violent? Overly violent? I don't know. The crowd was getting pretty hostile. But there was violence, right? The police did physically strike some of the protesters, right? Well, sort of. I mean, some people were shoving the police shields, and, and the cops had to shove back, but uh, nobody really got hit, I don't think. So the cops shoved people down. Very good. Thank you. Ah, the typical reporter. Hello. Big news day in Detroit. 
a hostage taking and a protest might bump the regulation debate out of the headline slot. I heard you I heard you leading him on to say something that you wanted to say that you wanted to hear. Okay. Oh hello, I've talked to Andrea, will do you I? Be purchasing anything today? I certainly will. I can't sell nothing. Typhoon ammo. Ooh, do I want the typhoon augmentation? Axis kit. What does this do? Cyber boost pro energy bar. Replenishes free our oh, free energy cells. Okay. Gain one praxis point for you. I only get one. Description, a software pack. Okay. Oh, no, I can only buy one. Okay, well. Always a pleasure, sir. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go back to Serif. I think I have two now, don't I? Two, yeah, I have two. Open the door. I have two Praxis points. Maybe we'll get another one. Who knows? Uh, we'll have to see what our next objective is, I think. I'm sort of torn what to use it for. There's just too many good augmentations. I, I want them all. What's under here? Anything? Wait a minute, is it? Can I get down there? No. No. Anything above? No. Cindy's still not back, no. Hello, what's this? Information station. Housing headquartered here in the heart of Detroit. Serif Industries specializes in the design and manufacture of advanced mechanical augmentations for human implantation. In other words, we help people achieve their dreams by allowing them to reach their full potential. Currently employing over 1,500 people, we are dedicated to innovation while upholding a reputation for unrivaled excellence. New products for 2027 include the Smart Cortical Booster, equipped with the multi-focus aptitude chip, specially tuned to give an edge in mathematics, arts, reading, science, and technology. We are also proud to present Vistalife, the world's most advanced corneal replacement technology. At Seraph Industries, Bring your dreams to life. Okay. Is this, is this the same? No one should ever have to give up a normal life because of a random incident or indeed lose a dream over a physical limitation. So okay. believes David okay. Sarah, idealist, philanthropist, founder, and CEO of Seraph Industries. Pursuing this belief, Mr. Sarif acquired a failing Detroit auto factory in 2007 and repurposed it for the automated manufacture of prosthetics, founding Sarif Industries. Today, we at Sarif Industries share David's passion. We believe that human augmentation will give people every opportunity to improve themselves, making the world a better place to live. Guided by this principle, we will continue to innovate and produce the finest line of human augmentation products the world Okay, so that's Neuropazine. We'll look at these ones later sometime. Hugh Darrow. What's that? Serif. Okay, I want to hear about Hugh Darrow. Because we've read about him quite a bit. It would not be an understatement to say that Hugh Darrow changed the world as we know it. One of history's greatest visionaries and entrepreneurs... Darrow's groundbreaking work with robotics, biotechnology, and human enhancement has altered the very fabric of society, allowing men and women to improve their minds and bodies at will. 
In the 1990s, Hugh Darrow would become a mentor to David Sarif, inspiring him to found Sarif Industries in 2007. It is Hugh Darrow's foresight and pioneering spirit that motivates us today. Okay. So Hugh Darrow was really the grandfather of augmentations. Um, where's the elevator? Is it upstairs? Okay, I'm already lost. Where is the elevator? Can someone help me? Is it over here? No. There it is. There it is. Get this, boss. William Taggart was here. Might still be here. I guess he met with Mr. Seraph about something. Surprised I didn't hear the discussion all the way down here. Yep. I met him. Not a very welcoming man to talk to. Okay, Ooh, let's try not to run. Okay, Athene, have you forgiven us yet? Sorry, Adam, I can't help you right now. I'm trying to deal with the fallout from the Taggart meeting. Oh, uh, you're still doing that, are you? Okay. Oh, this office is just something else. Oh, man. To think people have offices like this. This is amazing. Okay, Sarif, I'm not going to look at your investigation into new employees or me. I'd rather not know. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Okay. So we're going to China. Uh, let me... sort my inventory out first. Uh... Okay, uh, is that anything else to talk about, David? You have your orders, Adam. Meet oh. Farida at the helipad as soon as you're ready to leave. Okay, will do. We are going to China. Okay, meet Malik in the helipad. Sarif is convinced that FEMA had nothing to do with the attacks. He believes the address Barrett gave me is a better lead. Looks like I'm going to China just as soon as I meet Malik. Yeah. Well... I think it's pretty obvious that FEMA had nothing to do with it. Can we go down to the labs yet? No. I think it's pretty obvious that... Well, not obvious, but... FEMA didn't have much to do with it. Jay Mandley... ordered FEMA to give over their... Um, to give over their facilities... 
to our friends. So FEMA really just didn't have anything to do with it. Right, let's dump some stuff in the office and then head to Shanghai. That's pretty handy actually. My office is right outside. Okay. All this stuff I could sell. Okay. Mine template. Okay. What is that? Oh, is that a clean? Oh, it's a cleaning thing. It's one of them little robot cleaners. All right, let's check my mail. See if I have anything. I doubt I do, but you never know. Okay, I do. Okay. Right, two frantic, frantic, what? Frantic pony from Brent Radford. Sanity test. Oh, it's these things. Do I? Uh, is there? Oh, I'm going to read them. I'm here now. I had a friend at the Gene View Labs run the test of records like you asked. Does your subject know that neither of his parents are his birth parents? That surprised me. The mother was sterile, according to those old medical records I dug up. But his dad carries no common phenotypes either. See for yourself. Mother. Margie Jensen. Father, Arthur Jensen. Child, Adam Jensen. What? Genetics? Genetic systems tested. Parentage index. Probability of parent, zero. What? the hell okay from okay Brent Brent is the Brent is the uh, thingy okay from Lucas who is Lucas okay Brent it wasn't easy but I finally backtracked some of Mar Margie and Arthur Jensen's past through their medical files. Arthur Jensen had enough connection through his whole Desert Storm buddies turned security consultants to have certain records pulled, which is why the family is a ghost, but he couldn't hide Margie's records. For a period of eight years, Arthur relied on the insurance policy of his then employer, White Helix Labs, to pay for his wife's medication. She was on antidepressants since 14 and needed regular prescriptions. When White Helix Labs burned down, all its files and employment records were lost and the Jensen stayed invisible mostly. Here's the thing, one minute Adam doesn't exist and the next the Jensens have themselves a bouncing and healthy five-year-old. That's when they pull their vanishing act. So on a hunch I sniffed around some more and sure enough the Jensens had tried adopting kids from several Michigan agencies but Margie was deemed unfit as a parent. Next thing you know, they have Adam. There's no real trails to say, uh, saying how he was placed in their hands. Okay, this doesn't sound good. Mr. Serif, I found Adam Jensen's psych evaluation following that SWAT incident and the, uh, and the augmented team. I managed to sneak a look at the folder, but I couldn't copy it. At least not yet. I'll be honest with you, the psych evaluation doesn't paint a pretty picture. It mentions the problems with authority figures, a disregard for the chain of command, anger management issues, and potential PTSD. PTSD. Here's the thing. When you hired me, you said you wanted me to read between the lines, so here it is. The, re the evaluation reads like fiction. I'm thinking a pissed off superior wanted Jensen off the force and had evaluation worded to read like just cause. But most of the rank and file I spoke to respected and liked Jensen. 
They thought he was a real straight shooter even though the SWAT incident soured his reputation a little. Still, even my source liked him enough to want to keep his psych eval buried. What? Okay, we're going to have a quick word with... Uh, David, once I've dumped some stuff off. I don't need that many frag grenades. Revolver ammo, no. What's that? Shotgun cartridges. Right, let's keep this stuff over here. Medical stuff, top right. No, that's ammo. Okay, energy bars up there then. Uh, grenades down here. What's this? Tranquilizer darts. Goodbye. Stun gun darts. Shotgun cartridges. Stun gun. Combat rifle. Okay, 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 okay. Just looks a little neater. Right. David, we need... Athena tells me you spoke to Sarath. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarath spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride, dogging. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. Yeah, don't give up on it, Frank. You carry on. Frank? How do you do that? But yeah, you carry on, Frank, because, you know, what if he is lying? Is he still here? Alright, David, we need to talk. Right now. You have your orders, Adam. Meet Farida at the helipad as soon as you're ready to leave. I guess we'll talk later. Oh, man. So who was my parents then? Okay. God damn it. Now I can't talk to him. Alright, where's Frank? Where's Frank? Is he Technology Lab here? My god, it's a long way around here. Wait, what? Did I go past it? What the hell? Security manager, access elevator. Security lab. Oh, it's downstairs. Oh, uh, technology. I'm going down that way anyway, to the helipad. Technology lab, this way. Right, Frank. Security breach of this magnitude? It's like our entire network has been violated. How the hell did they get past the firewall? I don't know, but he's got a shitload of new coding to do. All the passwords he has to reset? Ooh, ouch. That's probably why he's so stressed. No kidding. Bad business. Okay, practice, Frank. I guess. But when you have that much money, right? Security level five. I'm going to take your energy bar, Frank. I need it more new, I think. Okay. I really wouldn't mind getting into his computer and checking it out. Okay, we'll leave them there.
So a pocket security. He's not going to leave his own password laying around, is he? He's far too smart for that. Take your energy bar. Energy bar. Is, it, is he actually an augment? Is he? Okay. That computer, I bet, holds some very, very good secrets. I heard she was a gymnast. Took over her father's company. If I wanted to hack it, I'd have to use my two. See, there's... Uh, what do I want? What do I... I really like the look of this one as well. See through walls. Track threats through walls. Know exactly when en enemy combatants will drop out of it. Okay, that's not really that good. Protects against the effects of concussive grenades. No... See that hacking one. Gain information about nodes on a network before making a decision. Place the cursor over any node to see the chances of detection. Place the cursor over a data store to view its content. Okay. Hacking and stealth. I did say hacking and stealth were probably the most important, didn't I? Okay, we're going. We're going to. Right, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. We can hack anything now, apart from robots. Next, stealth. I also want. dermal armor at yeah, some point. Good. See you later. I'm sorry, Frank. But I just have to know. Let's see if I can even hack it. Okay, so we need to go there, 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 there. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we stopped it, we stopped it, we stopped it. Access denied. Oh, what? Okay, no alarm went off. Will Pritchard, Pritchard will probably know we've gone in. He's not stupid, is he? He's very good at this thing. He's going to know someone's tried to hack his computer. Okay, I really, really want to get in there. One more attempt, one more attempt. Detection, 35%. Detection, 15. Please be good, please. Okay. Okay, they still don't know. We still don't know. They still don't know. We should be able to make it this time. Okay, I think we've made it this time. Access granted. Oh, yes. We are in. We are in. New access code adding. What the? Did I get all the access codes for everything? Okay, let's quickly read these. Uh, okay, here we go. As surprised, uh, as surprised as I am to admit this, Jensen's security measures actually did work that evening. 
That environmental warning we all heard go off, it was a backup fail safe that he insisted I inserted into the alarm coding. I'm still working on finding out how the primary alerts got suppressed, but until I have an answer, I believe it's necessary to revamp some important passwords. I've taken the liberty of suggesting a few ideas. Here they are. Okay, so that's all the important passwords. And I've got them all now. Okay, P.S. I'm not sure uh, I... Uh, P.S. I'm sure I don't have to remind you to delete this after you've read it, do I? Thanks for telling me, Frank. It's good to know. As for the passwords, be sure to let the affected parties know. Series pitch. Okay. Mr. Pritchard, thank you for submitting your show concept and script treatment to Pikus TV. We have duly reviewed your submission and regret to inform you that there is currently no interest in developing a program of such a nature. In fact, Mr. Pritchard, as this is your fifth show proposal in 12 months, it behooves me to be honest with you regarding your prospects with Pikus TV. It's very difficult for us to imagine how a 13 episode dramatic series built around the nightly coding exploits of Nuclear Snake Hacker Extraordinaire would appeal to our target demographic. Our viewers are looking for an action, mystery and suspense. Suspense. They want a hero who's not afraid to get physical rather than one who skulks in the shadows and ducks for cover behind telecams. To be honest, the main character seems to us somewhat underhanded and obsequious. A very popular character type is the policeman, or even better, the ex-cop who still upholds the law. This is the type of protagonist people can warm to, warm up to and cheer for. You should give this idea some serious consideration. Okay. That was cleaner than I thought it was. I thought there would be some dirt in there, but apparently not. Perhaps Frank is actually one of the good guys. He's, wait, well, he's acting like one of the good guys. And there's no dirt on his computer, so... Maybe it's time to completely trust Frank. 